Buildium Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Buildium. Buildium is an all-in-one property management software. Whether you're a property owner, a landlord, or a property manager, Buildium offers a range of tools and resources designed to simplify your daily operations, automate your processes, and enhance your overall productivity. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the essential features and functionalities of Buildium, enabling you to streamline your property management tasks and maximize your efficiency. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Buildium, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate the free trial button at the top right corner and click on it. This action will open a new window where you can begin the sign-up process for a 14-day trial. In the sign-up window, you will need to provide some basic information. Enter your first name, last name, and business email in the respective fields. After filling in these details, click on the Create Your Free Trial button to proceed. On the next page, you will be prompted to enter additional information to set up your account. This includes your company name, phone number, and then the number of units you manage. Additionally, you'll need to choose the portfolio type from a drop-down menu. In this case, we'll select the Rentals and Associations portfolio type. Finally, select a strong password for your account. Once you've filled in all the required fields, click on the Create Your Free Trial button to move forward. After successfully creating your account, you'll be directed to another page where you'll need to log in using the same email and password you provided during the sign-up process. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to your account dashboard where you can begin utilizing the features and tools provided by Buildium. When you log into your Buildium account, you will land on the dashboard. On the left side of the dashboard, you will see the left navigation panel. This panel is important as it contains sections that we would like to provide an overview of before moving on. These sections allow you to navigate and access different areas of your business within the Buildium platform. The dashboard serves as the default landing page when you log into your Buildium account. It provides you with a comprehensive overview of various aspects of your business, allowing you to stay informed about what matters most. Within the dashboard, you'll find a range of information presented in a card view format. These cards include important details such as outstanding balance, which helps you stay updated on amounts owed in rental applications. Additionally, you can access sections for tasks, rental insurance, overdue tasks, expiring leases, rental listing, rental applications, rental activity, and more. If you wish to personalize your dashboard, you have the option to customize it according to your preferences. To do this, simply click on the Customize Dashboard button. This will open up a menu where you can select Add or Remove Cards located at the top right corner of the screen. Upon clicking this option, you will be able to see all the cards that are currently included in your dashboard. By selecting the radio button next to each card, you can either remove it or add a new card. To add a card, simply click on the radio button next to the desired option. Once selected, the radio button will turn green with a check mark, indicating that the card will be added to your dashboard. If you want to remove a card, click on the radio button next to it, and it will be deselected. Once you have finished customizing your dashboard by adding or removing cards, click on the Done button located on the bottom right side of the screen. To ensure that your changes are saved, click on the Save Changes button. This ensures that your customized dashboard reflects your preferred configuration, providing you with a tailored view of the information relevant to your property management operations. The Rentals section displays comprehensive information regarding your current properties. It allows you to access and manage vital aspects such as rent rolls, tenants, rental owners, and outstanding balances. By utilizing this feature, you can stay up to date with the status of your rental properties, monitor rent payments, and track any outstanding balances. Within the Leasing section, you have the ability to effectively manage all aspects related to your property listings, applicants, leases, and renewals. This feature streamlines the leasing process by providing a centralized platform to track and organize applicant information, generate leases, and manage lease renewals. It simplifies the management of your rental agreements and helps ensure a smooth and efficient leasing experience. Buildium's Association section offers convenient management of community associations. This feature allows you to oversee and communicate with homeowners, association owners, tenants, and board members. It provides a centralized hub to handle association-related tasks such as managing outstanding balances and violations. With this feature, you can maintain effective communication and efficiently handle the specific needs of your community associations. The Accounting section provides comprehensive financial management tools. 
Within this feature, you can effectively manage your financials, including general ledger activities, banking bill management, recurring transactions, budgets, charts of accounts, company financials, and tax filing. It offers robust accounting capabilities tailored to property management, enabling you to accurately track and report financial data, streamline budgeting processes, and manage your company's financial health. The maintenance section allows you to effectively manage vendors and track work orders related to your properties. It provides a centralized platform to handle maintenance requests, assign tasks to vendors, and track the progress of work orders. Additionally, there is a property inspection feature that facilitates seamless connectivity between property walkthroughs and building maintenance, ensuring that necessary repairs and inspections are conducted in a timely manner. Within the Tasks section, you can effectively manage incoming requests, organize your daily to-do list, and handle reoccurring or property-wide jobs. This feature enables you to prioritize and delegate tasks, ensuring that nothing falls through the cracks. By utilizing this section, property managers can stay organized and ensure that all necessary tasks are completed promptly. Buildium's communication feature serves as a central hub for connecting with applicants, residents, tenants, property owners, and other stakeholders. It provides a platform to manage announcements, send out messages in bulk, and communicate using preferred methods such as email, text messages, or other available communication channels. This feature streamlines communication processes, allowing property managers to maintain effective and timely communication with all relevant parties. In the Files section, you can access and view all the files that you have uploaded related to your property, such as leases, contracts, or other important documents. The feature allows you to filter and categorize these files, making it easier to locate specific documents when needed. Moreover, you can upload files directly from your computer and create new file categories to ensure efficient organization and easy retrieval of important property-related files. Within the Reports section, you can easily access the reports that are most relevant to your property management needs. This feature provides a range of reports, including financial reports, rental reports, association reports, property reports, transaction reports, and more. These reports offer valuable insights and data that can help you analyze the performance and financial aspects of your properties, enabling informed decision-making and effective management strategies. The analytical hub in Buildium provides access to powerful metrics and analytics that offer deeper insights into various aspects of your property management operations. This feature allows you to track and analyze key performance indicators such as resident center usage, e-pay adoption, maintenance metrics, expense analysis, leasing performance, association performance, and company revenue. However, it is important to note that the analytical hub is typically available only for premium users, providing them with advanced tools and data-driven insights to optimize their property management processes. In the Add-on Services section, Buildium offers additional services that you can access to enhance your property management experience. These services may include features like ePay, which allows for electronic payment processing, as well as options for handling rental cash payments and more. These add-on services provide additional functionalities to support your property management operations. Within the shortcuts, you can manage and customize shortcuts for quick access to frequently used tools and sections within the platform. This allows you to create personalized shortcuts that suit your specific workflow and preferences, improving efficiency and making it easier to navigate the Buildium interface. Now, let's see how to add a property in Buildium. To add a property in Buildium, start by navigating to the left navigation panel and clicking on Rentals. This action will reveal several options, and you should select Properties. By doing so, you will be directed to the Properties page where you can manage your existing properties and add new ones. To add a property, simply locate the Add Property button positioned at the top right side of the screen and click on it. This will take you to a new page specifically designed for adding a new property to your portfolio. In the first step of adding the property, you will need to select the appropriate property type from the Property Type field. Click on the drop-down menu and choose the specific property type you wish to add. For instance, if you are adding a single-family home, select the Single Family option. Once you have made your selection, you can proceed to the next section. In the following section, you will need to provide the street address of the property. Click on the designated fields under Street Address and enter the complete street address for the property you're adding. After entering the street address, continue by filling in the city, state, zip code, and country details in their respective fields. Next, you will need to provide details about the property owner. To specify the property owner, proceed by selecting the Plus Add Rental Owner option. Upon clicking this option, a pop-up window will appear, allowing you to input the necessary information. 
In the pop-up window, provide the first name, last name, company name, primary email, and phone numbers of the property owner. Once you have entered these details, click on the Save button to save the information. The next step is to provide details regarding the property's primary bank account. Click on the drop-down menu in the field labeled Operating Account and choose the appropriate account type from the options available. Additionally, enter the property reserve amount in the designated Property Reserve field. It's worth noting that specifying a primary manager for the property is optional and can be done if desired. Lastly, take a moment to review the address and lease details of the property. Ensure that the address is accurate and complete. You can also indicate the number of rooms, baths, and the square footage of the property. Additionally, you have the option to add photos for better visual representation. Once you have reviewed and confirmed the information, click on the Create Property button to finalize the process of adding the property. After successfully adding the property, it will be displayed in the Property section. To access this section, click on Rentals in the left navigation panel and then select Properties. On the Properties page, you will find the property you have added. You can manage the property's details and make any necessary updates by clicking on the respective property listing. This allows you to conveniently maintain and oversee the specific property within your Buildium account. Next, let's see how to add a lease in Buildium. To add a lease in Buildium, begin by clicking on Rentals in the left navigation panel. This action will prompt a drop-down menu to appear, displaying various options. From these options, select Rent Roll. Upon selecting Rent Roll, you will be directed to the Rent Roll page where you can manage leases. To add a new lease, click on the green button located at the top right-hand side of the page, labeled Add Lease. Clicking this button will redirect you to another page where you can provide further details and information. Start by entering the lease details. Choose the respective property from the field labeled Property. Then select the specific unit from the drop-down menu under the Unit field. Proceed to select the appropriate lease type from the provided options. Additionally, specify the lease's start date and end date. Next, you will need to add tenants and cosigners to the lease. Click on the Plus Add Tenant or Cosigner option, which will open a window on the screen. In this window, you can add both tenants and cosigners or choose to add either one. For this example, let's focus on adding only the tenant. Within the Tenant section, you have the option to choose an existing tenant or applicant by selecting the checkbox labeled Choose Existing Tenant or Applicant. Enter the contact information of the tenant, including their first name, last name, mobile number, and email. Optional details such as address, personal information, and emergency contact can also be added. Once you have provided the necessary tenant information, click on Add Tenant to include them in the lease. Proceed to provide rent information for the lease. Choose the appropriate rent cycle, enter the rent amount, select the account where the rent will be deposited, choose the rent due date, and write a memo if needed. Once you have entered the rent details, move on to the next step, which is handling the security deposit. In the security deposit section, you will need to specify the due date and the amount to collect as the security deposit for the lease. Moving on, in the Charges section, you have the option to add reoccurring charges and one-time charges, although these additions are optional. If you wish to include any additional charges associated with the lease, you can add them here. Finally, you can upload files from your computer to attach relevant documents to the lease. Once you have uploaded the necessary files, you have the option to enable or disable the Residence Center welcome email. If enabled, Buildium will automatically send a welcome email to individuals who do not have access to the Residence Center. By signing in, they will be able to make online payments, view important documents, submit requests, and utilize other features available through the Resident Center. After providing all the required information in the respective fields, click on the Save button to save the lease. This action will ensure that all the details and settings related to the lease are recorded and stored within Buildium, facilitating efficient management and organization of the lease agreements within the platform. Next, let's see how to add tasks in Buildium. Tasks are a crucial aspect of managing properties effectively in Buildium. By adding tasks in Buildium, you can efficiently organize and track various responsibilities, ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. Adding tasks in Buildium is a simple process. To begin, click on the Tasks button. A menu will appear, and from this menu, select My Tasks. This selection will direct you to the My Tasks page where you can view all the tasks you have created. These tasks are displayed in a list format, providing information such as their status and due dates. To add a new task, locate the Add Task button on the right side of the screen and click on it. This action will present you with various task types to choose from. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will select To Do by clicking on it. 
This will lead you to another page where you can input the details of your to-do task. Start by providing a subject for your to-do task in the designated subject field. Then write a description of the task in the description field. If you wish to attach files to the task, simply click on plus add attachments and upload the desired files from your computer. Next, select a category for the task from the available options in the category field. Additionally, specify the property associated with the task by selecting it from the property field. If you want to assign the task to a member of your team, click on the drop-down menu under the Assigned To field. From the options provided, select the person you wish to assign the task to. Proceed by choosing the status, due date, and priority of the task in their respective fields. Once you have filled in all the necessary details, click on the Create Task button to finalize the task creation process. By following these steps, you can easily add tasks in Buildium. This feature allows you to efficiently manage and keep track of various tasks, ensuring effective collaboration and organization within your team or property management workflow. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Buildium. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this video helpful in understanding the key features and functionalities of Buildium and how it can greatly simplify your property management tasks. By leveraging Buildium's tools and resources, you can streamline your operations, automate processes, and enhance your overall productivity. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can.